Well, the who's who of India, Inc. and also D-Street is now with us. We have uh, Nilesh Shah of Envision with us. Nilesh, you know, uh, we're talking about consistency, excellence, awarding the leaders. Uh, the one thing that's consistent is the way you, you know, work out and the way you work towards yourself. Because we took it, look at any reel from uh, the old days of the India Business Leader Awards. The one thing that's constant is the way you look. How do you do this, man? <laughs> I think it's just discipline, nothing else. Uh, markets teach you to be disciplined, and I think the way you treat your wealth, you've got to treat your health. All right, and perhaps uh, treat your health a lot better than your wealth, because the wealth can come and go. Health, once gone, will perhaps never come back. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a bigger treasure to have. All right, so in that case, let's also talk about the health of the market right now. Uh, we're doing well. We've uh, somehow decoupled from the uncertainty that we're seeing in the global markets right now. Do you see that as uh, a good sign, or perhaps at some point, you know, things will uh, not look as good? No, I think it's a very, very strong sign. I think the decoupling probably began when the Reserve Bank of India in the last policy meet chose to have a pause and not hike rates. I think that was the big signal that we are probably able to manage our macros in a significantly better way. We've, of course, got to be cognizant about the headwinds that the world could pose for us and the world economy. But I think on a standalone basis, I think we're doing fine. And if we just keep going along the way, the way we are doing right now, I think that should keep us in good stead. Is that how you're positioning your portfolio as well? And is that what you're advising to your clients too? That stay with domestic focused companies and not dabble too much with export facing companies? Or the time is right for some export facing companies too? I think it should be a good mix, though of course you should have the tilt and the balance towards the domestic facing businesses because clearly the economy is growing at a much faster pace and a lot of the domestic businesses are facing some great tailwinds, especially in terms of lower raw material prices. I think interest rates have peaked. So I think a lot of domestic facing businesses should do a lot better. All right, and we can never let you go without asking you a question on IT. Is it a good time? Because Salil Parikh is going to be here. What are you going to ask him? No, I don't think it's yet a good time. Um, I think they're going to have a lot more headwinds. Uh, the reality is that they're probably going to grow in low single digits. I don't think that's good enough for an equity investor. I think an equity investor has many more better opportunities. I think in the IT space, probably plenty of bottom-up, mid-cap, small-cap businesses are probably better placed than some of the big large companies. All right, uh, Nilesh, uh, whether that has a good time or not, we are sure that you will have a good time Thank this you. evening. We'll let you go. On that Thank note, you. we'll also give it back to Ritu. Ritu, you have with us uh, 